Hey everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. This is a special recording for me because I finally got my computer to run on Windows 10. Hooray! <laughs> so I'm hoping everything's going to be fine. If not, then you will never hear this. But I've just done a, a little quick test recording. I recorded for like 30 seconds and everything seemed okay. I'm looking at my OBS window now. I see the bars going up. I see... Uh, if I stop talking... I see the Isaac volumes going up and down. That's perfect. Uh, and I want to rant about it, so I'm just going to preface this. The beginning of this run is going to be the Microsoft rant, because they have kind of ground my gears down a little bit. Anyway, what did we do in the last one? We played this Tainted Maggie. We went to try and go to Delirium via Hush. And I think on the last one we died on the Hush fight. So we're going to do that again and see if we can get to Delirium. But okay, let's start the Microsoft rant. So, maybe uh, around the time when, sorry, Microsoft, I can't remember exactly when this was, was it summer last year, where they finally announced that they were going to stop supporting Windows 8, I got myself on the bandwagon immediately. I was like, okay, pen me in for that update. You know, it said, pen yourself in for an upgrade to Windows 10. I was like, yes, do that for me, please. I'll take it. And basically the time came when, you know, it came out and nothing happened. Like, I didn't get the installer proxy, so I was like, mm, that's weird, but whatever. I, I, sorry, this was, actually, this part of the story was a few years down the line. Cue to this year when it was actually said that they will now stop supporting, because the installation actually was, uh, I think the offers were like a year or two ago, when they said to like, just move to Windows 10. Probably, probably more, honestly, I don't remember. But a few years ago when they finally said they were going to stop supporting, and I was like, okay. It didn't update normally, so I'm going to get myself a Windows 10 copy. And I'll upgrade my Windows 8 to Windows 10. I'll do everything the legitimate way. You know, I'm not going to do any messing around. You know, not like I would use pirated software anyway. But I was like, I'm going to do this all above board. I'm going to get everything off Microsoft's website. I'm going to get it off like some third party website, which I've done in the past and has caused me countless amounts of grief as well. And basically, I, you know, I created a media. I forgot who I was playing. I was running to the enemies. I created a media drive on a USB device so that I could upgrade to Windows 10. Because I tried doing it online and it failed. I was like, okay, I'll create a device to a USB. That also failed. And I was like, hmm, I don't know what's going on here. I, I honestly cannot figure out what's going on. And it's not like, you know, it fails in a very interesting way like most softwares do. And it'll say like, okay, you, you're suffering from error 8x9273 thousand and XD or something it didn't do that it just said whoops we've had an error well not to that effect but it was basically whoops we've had an error it, I think it specifically said the Windows 10 upgrade has failed which is not very diagnostic there's not a lot I can do with that information because all I know is that it failed <laughs> which is pretty useless well so Fast forward to, like, maybe... It was around the time that New World came out. I tried to get my computer to upgrade again because I was going to do a video on it with some of my friends. Because that only works on Windows 10. That was the first game that I'm aware of that I wanted to play. It should be more specific. That had to require Windows 10. So I was like, okay, this is going to become more of a problem. I have to deal with this now. And again... I sit on the computer trying to like troubleshoot this, trying to figure out ways, and there's loads of things online. By the way, very few of them from actual Microsoft representation, so it was very hard to troubleshoot. I was basically using forums, and there were some people like going, yeah, like, oh, I didn't know what to do that. Damn. Okay, we missed out on the terminal heart. But there were some people that were saying like, oh, your Windows dot forward slash bt file. It defaults to read-only mode. You have to turn off the read-only mode for it to rewrite. Otherwise, it tries to copy itself and it will just have a sad time because it's on read-only. I do that, it fails. Oh, well, sometimes the install software has the, the, the wrong... What's the word for it? E e extension. It has the wrong label on it. So, you have to rewrite... Rename the extension to, like, a dot... WAD or something, I can't remember what it was actually called. And it'll work. Didn't work still. 
Oh, why have you not tried disabling your antivirus? It's like, okay, I'll disable the antivirus. Have you tried uninstalling the antivirus? Have you tried uninstalling all software? You know, you just go down the rabbit hole of like everything you could potentially do. And basically nothing was sticking and it was kind of cheesing me off. And that got me to today. This is February the 8th I'm recording this. And again, some friends went like, okay, we want to play a game. I don't think I'm even going to do a video on it. I think I'm just going to chill out and play a game for once. But they were like, oh, we want to play a game and it's probably going to be Windows 10 only. Like, get onto Windows 10. So I was like, all right, fine. So immediately, during my lunch hour while I was working from home, and then after work, I'd been like playing around with it. And finally, I found the solution after like trying everything that I could see online. And I have to thank Reddit for this piece of information. You know what? I'm going to even find the fucking user. I'm going to find the Reddit user that fixed all my problems. Because I bookmarked the page of the thread. Again, this is a bit off cuff right now, but it's worth it. Uh, who was the user that said to do this? It was Techie Boy. He's literally called Techie Boy, a frequent helpful contributor. And he said, have you tried unplugging everything except the mouse and keyboard, including like the internet devices and then turning off the internet? So I removed my Wi-Fi dongle because my recording piece is on a Wi-Fi dongle because I'm so far away from the hub that I'd have to have a stupid extension cable on it. I removed that, unplugged the internet, I did. I just ripped everything out except mouse, keyboard, monitor. And of course that works. And that, this is funny because it very specifically specifies on the requirements for creating the Windows 10 upgrade stuff, you have to have an internet connection. It says so on the Microsoft page. So why does it run firstly without an internet connection and secondly, why does it only work without the internet connection? Now, I'm sure someone who's more uh, literate in, like, computers could tell me specifically what my problem probably was. But it was installing to about 73, 74% and then failing with, again, no message. It was like, whoopsie daisy, we've had a problem here. And it's like, well, what's the problem? It's like, well, we're not going to tell you. Like, why would you need to know what the problem was? Like, just buy a new computer forehead. Like, Microsoft, please just give me some information. Give me, like, you know, something here. Dangle a carrot in my face so I can follow some chain of command. But no, it gave me absolutely nothing. So I've been pretty peeved off by that. To say the very least. Eh, uh, sure, mum's wig. I'm going to try and kill one of you because I'd like to keep the bone heart as long as I can. Never mind, I realised the bone heart now was actually full. I should remember as well that while I'm ranting, I do have a time restriction requirement. Go on then. Uh, that probably wasn't worth, but the curse room might be worth. <laughs> I hate you. Ooh. Ooh. Right, well, yum heart out to try and protect the bone heart because I don't know what's good for me. And it's sloth. I'm honestly going to swap, mag swap magic skin. Okay, we've lost the bone heart. No, we haven't. I tell lies. I tell just lies and untruths. Right, running to sloth. I should really just ignore this bone heart right now. It's n the juice is not worth the squeeze here. All right, I'm getting rid of magic skin. I understand the benefits of magic skin. I understand how strong the item could be, but it burns me so often when I use it early on, like incredibly often. The amount of times where I've used magic skin once and then I go to like. You know, I, I mean, we're going to go to Delirium, but like the Cathedral or something. No, the, ch the, the chest. And every single item I get is magic skin. It drives me bananas. Uh, okay, not a great use of Bob's Rotten Head. Uh, next question is, do we want a Devil Deal? I've typically turned this down in favour of the Angel Deals, and today will be no different. I still think the Angel Deal is better than the Devil Deal. And I think this character is strong enough to tolerate not getting the first Devil Deal. Come on. Thank you. Okay, Bob's right ahead. Hey, is this a secret room above me? It isn't. I also kind of rate Bob's right ahead in a strange way. Especially when you have very few consumables, like 
right now I have two bombs. Which isn't a lot. Can you please... I, I need to run into enemies. I need to just sack the bone hearts. This is taking too long. Trying to get a young heart charge. Okay, let's go in the curse room now. Okay, that's pretty good. The pentagram, that will make up for some damage. But again, we should just be running into enemies. I don't know, by the way, if hugs actually help in that regard. Sorry, if damage helps my hugs. I've still not figured that out yet. I don't think it does. I think it might be fixed. But it's really hard to tell. Okay, I think red patch is just an upgrade on the, the, the kind of useless one. Get hit. Because my rage is now going to grow every time I get hit. Which will give me temporary damage ups, which incentivizes me then to use my tears. Okay, we still have no keys, man. I feel like a lot of my runs recently, I know I'm on hard mode, but... I feel like you used to see more consumables than you do nowadays. Like, they're a bit stingy on that. No, I remember, I always think you're like, when you use a card to tear it up and you can't use it again, but you're not. You're like, every 30 shots, you make an Ipecac with uh, my reflection on it. And that's not what I want. Okay. Secret room? Nope. Eight minutes. I'm going a bit slow right now, but... We, we have to be able to, you know, actually kill Delirium. That's kind of been a problem recently. I've not been able to kill Delirium when I've got to him. Or not, not been able to kill Flush, I suppose, by the last one. Now get over here. Or don't. I'll just kill you my tears. I don't care. Right, there's the key I wanted. Uh, do I want to go in the shop? I mean, we have got enough money for a shop visit, so maybe we should do. <laughs> Would also not say no to a speed upgrade right now. Another card. Uh, this is all hot trash. I'm just going to use a bomb to do this. This is fine. We'll take this. Okay, the secret room is actually below me. I'll take High Priestess as well over Magician. I'll use a bomb so I don't blow myself up. Thank you. And then I think I'm going to ignore the rest of the floor. I'm basically just going to pick up my item room and leave. Pretty good value still. I can now find all future secret rooms. Secret rooms might have eternal hearts in them. Like the second secret room. Also, we could get the full red room and actually get a benefit off it. Mysterious liquid I, I rate as an item. It's going to leave a lot of creep around. In fact, we're kind of creepy right now. That's our build. We're creepy. Uh, normally yes, now no. Please don't get hit again. I'm done. I lost my angel deal literally at the last second. But it was only 30%, so I'll live with it. Also, that's another health upgrade, which means I should probably have taken a devil deal. I don't know if health items are more prominent as this character, but I feel like I get health ups way more often. Again, this might be bias. Thanks. Because I haven't had that many runs with this character, so, you know. My N equals maybe like six or seven. But I, I never go like, oh my god, I really wish I had a health upgrade right now. Again, Q, like the run where I needed a health upgrade and didn't get it. What I do need right now, okay, bombs will do, is just consumables in general. That would really hit the spot right now. Thank you. You'll give me consumables. I'll, I'll take it. Right, we get a bob and head charge from this room anyway, so... I might as well just pop it as soon as I walk in. Can you please come back? Thank you. Right, secret room. I missed it by like a pixel. 
All right, I'm gonna blow you up for angel deal chance. That was my item room. Maggie's bow is actually game winning, potentially. Now I do need something else, but for rooms, it's gonna really hit the spot. Healing things will count for double, I think is what this does. And we'll play you. You have the potential to move me, wild things. Doing bam bam bam. Gimpy is really good. What a, a swing. What a s swing for me. Honestly, you're not bad, but you take too long. I'm not about that lifestyle right now. I'm about the fast paced lifestyle. So hopefully running into enemies will prop Gimpy. Gimpy will give me hearts. My hearts count for double. I'll even play you, because I, I do need the speed right now. Keep going. Don't be afraid. Keep going until you see the white of their eyes. Okay, I see the white of their eyes now. Fight the boss. Thank you, Gimby. Convert thy spirit hearts into red hearts, please. Now, to do that, you have to summon enemies for me to kill. Like him. And then they have to drop a red heart afterwards. Why is nothing dropping red hearts? Okay, you did. So I'll take it. I'll pick that up. That's flight and health. That's huge. We play this again. If I can get a speed up from this, we'll be laughing. Where am I? 13 minutes. We can take some time here. I don't have to rush this that much. I would like you to pay out though today. I'm going to risk it. Let's play around on this floor a bit more because I think I can get myself giga strong. I'm going to try and find the shop as well. We have 43 coins. We also have this bad boy over here, which I'll pop on the way back. Come here for hooks. Uh, that is not the shop. Still, a key is nice. We would like seven keys before we get to hush. Whiff. Okay, we're back to full health. Ooh, that's going to take too long. I'm just going to pick it up. It might honestly be worth just leaving now. To protect the eternal heart. Nah, it's not worth protecting. I've changed my mind. The speed is worth more for what we're trying to do. If you were trying to win this run, I would have just protected it. But we're not really trying to win this one. Well, we're trying to win the run, but in a very specific way. Uh, champion belt is what we want. Take this, and we're going to head back. At great haste, we're going to head back. Now, will I come back and pick up the... The rainbow poop if this doesn't pop. Maybe. I have to look at the time. We're going to have to go seriously fast. I have four floors to do in just over ten minutes. Don't do me dirty game. Be blood bad. It was. Okay. All is forgiven. We have a fantastic chance now. The speed up is huge. It will let me run into more enemies. Faster. We just want to int as fast as possible. That's the run right now. Uh, Greed is not on my shop because he's here. Just run into him. He can, he can take your money. But he'll never take your freedom. Uh, that's nice to know. Right, come here, you two. Uh, how did we just generate a battery? I'm not going to complain, but... 
We're approaching a point as well where we might have to just forgo item rooms. But I'd rather not because I, I have to also make the judgement of am I strong enough to beat Hush? Am I strong enough to beat Delirium? And right now I'm probably not. Speed. That's a kick in the teeth. That's a kick in the teeth. That's really bad. That's good. That's very good. Okay. All in all, we probably lost out on that. Now, I do see the irony in the fact that I just went for Blood Bag, which is HP and Speed. And the first two pills were uh, HP down and the pill uh, Speed down. The game certainly has a sense of humor. But my speed is also now 4, which is not awful. I'll take BFF. I'll take Fanny Pack. We'll prop, pop Fanny Pack a lot. That should solve my consumable issue. This is the boss. I, I'm not strong enough yet. I have to get the item room. As soon as I, I feel like we have it. And we kind of have it in a room scenario. Like, I don't think we down a room anymore. I, I, if only if I said this last time, we're invincible in rooms. By that I mean any general room, not the boss fights. Bosses can kill us. Can you stop? Okay, damage is no longer an issue. <laughs> we we should now run. Health is the only issue. Going the wrong way. Just run into him. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Right, give me the two keys and we'll go down. Probably should give him heart as well. Well, I think about it. Right, let's see how fast I can do the depths. You know what would be pretty nice, by the way, on this run? That iframe card that I had. What does Hangman question mark do? I don't remember. Okay, you're also immortal. Where's your fucking... Where's your brain? I don't know what Hangman question mark does anymore. I'm sure I learned it, and I forgot it again. Uh, yeah, sure. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I can fly, I'm done. We'll blow you up for Devil Deal chance. I eat Angel Deal chance. Although I probably would take a Devil Deal now. So what do we need now? The, the run is now just about survivability. Should not have blown them up until I was cleared the room as well. No more active items, no. I, I would like active items, if I'm honest with you. Uh, do not want this room. Shop is good. That was annoying. Just run into enemies. <laughs> Again, it looks good right now, but I, I promise you it's not perfect. We're a bit shy of boss rush, sadly. <sighs> Why not take Steam Sale? Uh, yeah, we're going to get another shop anyway. I think I'd rather have the Fool card as well. We can fly, so this room should not be too problematic. Never mind. Hello, oh, Gimpy. Thank you. All right, hello, Bessie. I see you've joined me and you're weighing up, jumping up on my keyboard. You chose not to. Well done, Betty. You chose to jump up on the other side of my desk. Fair enough. You can sit there if you want. Hello? Hello? Alright, I'm going to go check the other secret room. What is in here? I think what I've got is better. Uh, we are missing an item room, but I think this is fine. I could fool out if I wanted to. I'm not going to say no. Alright, we get an angel deal, that's perfect. The, the negative is what we're going to take here, even though I don't really need the damage anymore. Uh, the soul is fine. It's... It, it's fine. 
I think we just leave and move on. The mind would have been better than the soul. Because the mind is mapping, I think, as well. Right, remember you take extra health now? I could just play this like a normal run, I think. Oh my god. Did you survive an Ipecac hit there? I don't think I'm at a point yet. This run looks insane, and it, it kind of is insane. I don't think I've hit a point yet where I can just run into enemies and feel confident about living. Maybe on runes, but not against Delirium. I don't think... Oh, hello. Ow. Uh, I... Oh, oh, yeah. I don't think... Gimpy will pay out enough for me. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of annoying. That's okay. Uh, Cursed Eye can go. You know. It can do one. Excuse me. Okay. Right. Bessie's now chosen to turn on my laptop. Fair enough. If you want to turn on the laptop. Be my guest. Uh, I could play you. I, in theory, have infinite bombs. Full health is a fantastic pill to know about. If we can pick up another full health pill, we'll be good. Good fight. How many mum's hands was that? They're still coming. Uh, tears up is also good. I'll take it. Uh, the Bone Heart I'll pick up. I'll take another health up. I'm, I'm pretty happy to set up your... Oh, actually, that's not quite true. I don't think I would take another health up now. Because Gimpy will play out with Eternal Hearts every so often. So I think we're at the perfect equilibrium. Like, this gave me basically nothing. I think it was a Tears Up still. So that was about it. Right. The other secret room is down there. Which is probably where the boss is going to be. Yeah, we should use our tears now to kill enemies. Protect some of the health. Uh, I kind of want to, but at the same time. At the same time. This is a lot quicker. Yeah, I think this is fine. What am I time-wise? I do have a bit of time. I might play the Battery Boy. Oh, hello. You know what? For where we're going, that's fine. Can you please perish? Thank you. Right, let's head towards the other secret room now. Pick up the key. We have enough keys now for Hush as well. Uh, Ipecac versus Hush is definitely not a guaranteed win, by the way. There goes the Bone Heart, that's perfect. Because he has super armor, if you didn't know. Which means that. Actually, I don't even know how super armor works. I'm not going to, like, bullshit you. It basically just levels out, like, insane damage. So even if I'll have insane damage, I'm still not going to melt them down that fast. There are certain circumstances which kind of ignore that. But it's normally when you can make some damage tick incredibly quickly. I think that's how you overcome it normally. And right now I've not got like an insane tick rate of damage. I'm basically just trundling the wrong. I, I think the two things this run needs right now is speed and a little bit more defense. Okay, we are going the wrong way. We'll pick up the key, but probably don't need it. Right, we still have time. You know what? I don't need the full cards. Just take me back to the start. And I'll try the right path. The curse room could pay out good for me. I will check it. You know what? That's not the worst result. A bunch of giga-powered spiders and flies. 
I do not want a health down pill. That is. Not what I want, but actually, if I accidentally took a health up, the health down pill would help me, so I'm going to hold on to it. I just run into enemies. Alright, we have gold keys for this floor, who cares? Cool fight. Okay, we found the boss. We should be good. Oh my god, that's incredibly dirty and sneaky. Right, just fire off the cannons. A gunfire salute for Mum's heart. How am I reflecting tears? Oh, I know how. I picked up the soul, didn't I? Time, 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 time. 26. Okay, we can check the angel deal. We'll pick up Guardian Angel. We'll go to Hush. And we'll either donate this 49 coins or... We'll spend it. Right, you're pretty useless. The stars is kind of useless. This is not necessarily useless. That's pay to play, right? I don't want a health down pill on a reusable scenario. However, there is a temptation. I'm definitely going to donate money first, though. If you leave me seven, I might leave it with placebo instead. Okay. So, Book of the Dead is going to be decent for Hush. What? You, you're both garbage. I'll pick you up and drop you because you go towards the moon transformation, but that's about it. I'll pick you up. Uh, honestly, my slight problem right now is health. <laughs> I'll just do this, and then we'll hold a yum heart charge. And now we'll just try and melt hush. So again, you, you, I can't really complain about the damage. The damage is good. But it's not absolutely incinerating, man. It's going to get worse when you get into the second form. I kind of wanted your health, I'm not going to lie. Right, again, like always, we're waiting for Fly Wave. And that's where we're going to do our damage. Creep versus Hush, though. Actually, when I mentioned that we don't have many continual tick damages, that's not entirely true. Uh, the body's doing some work for me. Just deflect those tears. But yeah, the Creep will do some work for me. Right, are you going to fly me now? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fanny Pack! I just remembered Fanny Pack might actually win me the run. I was like, how am I producing permanent red hearts? It's Fanny Pack, isn't it? Alright, it's Continuum Tear Time. Just find a zone that you can live in and live in it. I think we can live here. Yeah, this seems fine. I think. Uh, the body's doing weird things to the Continuum Tears. Right there, the health. Oops, thank you. Also, you're about to get annihilated by a, a force of undead, the likes of which you've never seen. Just focus for a second. I really wanted those healths for... I think I would have got hit. Okay, I've done a disservice to the body. The body's actually carrying me. Maybe the, the body was what I wanted. 
I can't get away from this attack. Go, my skelly army! I've killed so many enemies. Just rush down Hutch. Again. I can't get away from him. I'm too slow. Oh, yeah. Gimpy can also produce red hearts, can't it? Now that I think about it. Okay, Hush is perished. He's no more. I honestly think the best chance we have of being completely broken is to take Placebo. I don't think Book of the Dead will do it for me. Placebo has a chance. What do I want with it? Full health. That will give me three full health charges versus Delirium. I could just health tank fights then. So I'm going to take Placebo. Bold call, I know. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Maybe everyone agrees with me. Maybe everyone's going like, no, this isn't a bold call. It's just a smart play. Honestly, that was muscle memory there. Me blowing up the, the stony, it doesn't really provide me with much value. Boop, boop, boop. We should leave that on the floor. Permanent health, I should leave. I should also leave batteries on the floor if I can. Both will be very good in my future. Now you're a permanent heart container. Oh, by the way, I've already got a teleport card as well. That's really good. It's not a great one, I would prefer a better one if I can get it. Because the stars, I think, has a small percentage chance to teleport me back into the delirium fight, as there is not an item room on this floor. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Much better. Right, leave that there. This can't be delirium, right? Ow. Ow. You're dead. Uh, we'll take Mum's underwear. It's the Mum transformation. Who cares? I'm also going to Yum Heart to get a bit of my health back. Thank you, Troll Bombs. Uh, we should just run into you. You're going to produce all the health I need. Thank you. Same. You'll also trigger Fanny Pack, which is fantastic news for me too. Right, this can't be delirium above me. And thankfully it's not. And you're all dead. And it's learned how to jump. Don't need it, I have flight. Right, this can be delirium though, but I'm going to risk it. It's not. I didn't feel like it was delirium. I would have tried the stars out if I had to. Right, we'll take Lost Fly. Gets me towards Beelzebub. And again, we'll leave some hearts on the floor. Right, let's blow you guys up. Kind of an annoying room to fight in with Ipecac. So let's just get hit on purpose. To make it easier. Boo, 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 boo. I guess the other thing we're looking for right now is mushrooms. Because mushrooms could be pills. That's health down again, you piece. Get out of there. I don't need Hagalars. I have Ipigat, who cares? Come on. All perish. I don't think what else. Actually, you know what? We should blow up schools too. 
the sun would also be a really good card to take into delirium. Sun or full health pill, both will be great. One is certainly better than the other. Oh, it's a... A crack drop, whatever it's called. Very good. <laughs> the rewards are... Awful. Stay on the other side of the room for a second. And we go. I'm trying to think what else we would desire on this run, particularly. And I can't really think of anything, so I, I think full health pill would be the numero uno. It's the winner's choice. I honestly think Ace of Hearts doesn't really have any value for me. I can get the reason why you'd think it would do, but I don't think it does. Alright, we're fighting Blue Baby now. In fact, I might be able to stand here. No, I can't quite. So, actually dodge attacks. Help me. <laughs> I'm trapped in the corner. You know what? I'm just going to face tank you. Holy Light is fine. Kind of unnecessary when you have a cat, but I'll take it. I'm going to yum heart here because why not? Just run into enemies then. Right, who's left? Your left. This can be Delirium 2, so I'm going to avoid you. If I had a guaranteed teleport, like, if I had Fool on me right now, I wouldn't be doing this. I would just run into every boss fight. But just because the Sard, I think, has a small chance to teleport me back into the Delirium fight, which would be very troll and very much up the street of what this game would do to me, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, we don't need them. Thanks, but no thanks. Really? Can you please not throw shit at me? Thank you. Uh, money's necessary right now. Kind of an annoying room. Dealt with expertly. I'll try and leave you here. Yeah. It's fine. Is this leading to a path or is it going to cycle all the way back round? It might cycle all the way back. What a weird floor. Rain down, suppressing fire. Okay, we don't need to pick up keys anymore. Just leave them on the ground if you want. Again, carpet bomb strats for the win. Ooh, very nice health to leave there. Double red heart. With Maggie's bow, that's going to be four red hearts. Is this two brownies I'm fighting? I think it is. Are you still alive? No, you're dead. Alright, it's your turn. Puberty has a reason. But it's not the pill that I want. And I don't actually want to take it right now. Because as I said, I would rather stay one health down for 
the chance of Gimpy proccing. I'll pick one up. Right. Let's look at the floor plan. So this can't be delirium below. It's a zero percent chance of delirium. Car battery. Holy interesting. That's a big health up for me. Uh, I'm getting impatient. I'm gonna try. Okay, this could have been delirium. It's not. It's also not gonna give me something good. I think. Are you gonna give me ball of tar, whatever it's called? No, you gave me Star of Bethlehem, which I think will actually show me the direction of delirium if I let it. And you're heading out towards the right, which makes me think that delirium is towards the right and not down. But I don't know what I'm basing this off. Uh, Star, just go ahead and do what you want. By the way, I think at the last throw of the dice right now, that puberty pill is the next best thing that I can take into the fight. But it would basically a last gasp thing that I do when I'm about to die, just for one extra health. Also, why did I not... Well, firstly, why didn't I break that? But secondly, why did I not go into the secret room? Boo, boo, boo. I forgot. It's nice. Uh, honestly, there's enough health on the floor. Let me just pick one up so that I don't die on my way to wherever I'm going next. I'm going to try at the bottom because I don't think it's Delirium anymore. I think Star of Bethlehem was going somewhere completely different. I didn't mean to pick that up either. Uh, starting, please. Okay, we're good. We know where he is now. All right. Star of Bethlehem, you have baited me. Do you just choose a random room to go into then? Is that your deal? <laughs> or are you like are you pathfinding via rooms? Oh my god, you don't go through walls, do you? You go via rooms. So you are heading towards it, I think. Just unbelievably slowly. I mean For the same reason why I don't want health ups. I'm not going to play that. Because if you do give me a health up, I don't care. The money, I just don't care about either. You're a health down pill, so I guess I could counter that. Ooh. It's it lives. Alright, just pepper the heart with the attack. I think the soul protect me here. Or the body, sorry. Or the soul. I picked up the soul, right? Sure, little delirium, you can come with me. But I basically think this is it for us. Which is kind of disappointing, actually. Oh, it's not it. It isn't it. Uh, that's okay. If you give me a health up, I will take the health down pill, I think. I don't know what you can give me that's actually good, either. That isn't a health up. Because you're not going to give me a battery item. You're not going to give me a defensive item. You might give me a bean. You're giving me some health, which is... Again, I'm grateful for, thanks. You're also taking all my money. Which, again, I don't really care about, but... Okay, that's kind of funny. You gave me a bean. Funny if I don't want that. Uh, I haven't got enough money to play you now, so... 
I think I've done every room. Yeah, this is as strong as I can get. All right. So the puberty pill will be popped when I get low. And by... I'm going to have to be really careful with how I do this. Like, giga careful. Because... The puberty pill won't heal me. The second one will. So I'm going to push spacebar. I'm going to push the space button and then Q immediately afterwards. But we should probably Yum Heart first as well. Alright, turn all my health into Rotten Hearts. Which I think the case or maybe? Question mark. The normal Red Hearts. They do. That's, that's good intel. Right, just take me to the fight as fast as possible. I can't tell if we're going to win this one yet. This is a, it's actually kind of an interesting one to bet on, potentially. I am thankful I've killed a few bosses that produce ads. That will definitely make this fight easier. Also, it seems like the soul is not doing anything to you guys. Also, you're producing so much shit, I can't actually get close to you. Okay. We, we picked up a health. Alright, so far, not too bad. Okay, it is working. I just saw the soul activate. Alright, let me start standing star if I can. Because that is a big deep get up. Can you come over here, Delirium? Yes. I think we've got this. I think I'm good. Somehow also I'm not taking damage from explosions every so often. And I can't but think that I'm just confusing the game somehow. Like two explosions are cancelling out. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Turns out we had nothing to worry about. I'm actually going just for safety because I'm an adult. And that is Delirium, on a run where I, I moaned for half of it. Achievement unlocked, hypercoagulation, get in the chest. And we win. Nice, that's Tainted Maggie done and dusted. I, I don't know who we're gonna play next. So there we go, full post-it note. Kane has very few things left, Tainted Kane. Annoyingly, I left Mega Satan out of the picture when Tainted Kane was broken. Remember, he's not broken anymore, so I'm going to have to do that. Also, I'm going to have to do Greedy, which is going to be a pain as well, I think. I, I kind of regret not completing your post-it note, but I still think it won't be a huge issue. Tainted Judas bizarrely only has the Dark Pathway left and Greedy mode, so again, you're not a challenge. Tainted Bully Baby might be an option. We have very little to done on him. Tainted Eve I don't think will be an issue either. Samson should be fine. It's just a lot of greedy mode. Maybe we do Tainted Lazarus next. He has been buffed for Flip. We have a lot of money in our shop as well, so we could buy some shop items for the two of them to make them even more powerful. God, I forgot we have to do Tainted Eden again. And we have to finish off stuff on Tainted Lost. You know what? We're not as close as I thought we were. Anyway, I'll decide who we're going to play next, but it's probably going to be Tainted Lazarus. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed this rant, why not leave a like, comment, subscribe? Everything helps me out, and I'll see you on the next part. Goodbye.